No. And so you got 70% of your traffic from Google. Let's say one of these updates hits you a little bit, not major, but it drops your traffic by say 30%, which yes. is significant. Yep. And it doesn't mean you're like penalized. It doesn't mean you right. had a manual action. It just means Google has now turned the thumb screw and whatever you're doing, they didn't like, or they accidentally it's, cut yeah, you up, yeah. which is like, like it yeah. happens yeah. every single update. Yeah. How are you not scared? Because it could represent a 40% drop in your traffic and probably revenue. Yes. Yes. I'm not scared because I've been building an email list for so long. I think that if I lost all that traffic, I could operate a business. I would lose money for sure. But there's a few things. One, my business is only run by three people. Those people are my family members. So we're all in it together. If everything does well, we all benefit. If it does poorly, we all take the hit together. So it's not that like I'm the owner and I get like this exponentially more money than everybody else. My goal, it's not there yet, but my goal is that we're all paid the exact same amount of money salary wise and we're all in charge of our domains. Steph and I are very close. My brother's still working in the business and coming up. But once that's the case, then yeah, it's like when the business does poorly for whatever reason, we all do poorly. But we, but that's all I have to worry about is those people. There's not, I don't have this massive team. I don't have all this capital going out to hoping that this thing stays afloat. It's just that. So it's lean. You're it's not going to go out lean, of business. And it's a ridiculous amount of money now, if I'm being honest. Like, yeah. it's like the it's, margins are very high. Yeah. It's so good. So I'm like, all right, one, let's all save our money. And we've been doing that, right? We have assets, things like that. We've been investing in other things. And that's like the behind the scenes of it. On top of that, yeah, the email list, I could keep sending emails to that list and keep selling products for a good long while. But on top of that, I do paid ads too. So I don't mind paying to play because I have products with high enough margins that I can do that. And I'm constantly trying to innovate new products that will increase our LTV, which is our lifetime value per customer. And... Even this year, like we have a new product that we're going to test and we're going to see if it works. And if it does, it's, it's going to vastly improve our LTV. It's something we can sell via email. It's like one of those products that like can't be impulsy, more of a personal thing. I've never in my life worried about being able to afford or being able to make money. I shouldn't say afford anything. I've been working since I was 13. I've had a job. If this all goes away... <laughs> I can consult or I could do website design for people or I could do logo design or I could do a billion other things except write because then that's just chat GPT. All those things that right now an AI can't do, I can do. Like I have, I've built up the skills. Maybe all three of us have to go get our own jobs, but we can do the skills that we learned in the process of building these companies. So that's why I'm not scared because right. at the end of the day, I'll be able to do something.